Now, Honorable Miriam Onoha has urged the federal government to declare a state of emergency on the dwindling number of women in the parliament for equity and inclusivity. VT. The lawmaker who is representing Okigwe North in Imo State made a call in Abuja today, Wednesday, during her declaration of interest for the office of Speaker of the 10th Legislative Assembly. She says her emergency speaker will usher in a pragmatic solution to the current challenges of national cohesion. She added that Nigeria's protocol list can no longer be taken without the female gender on it, while appealing for her to her fellow male contestants to step down for her. Something drastic, something del deliberate has to be done to ensure that the number of women participation in politics is increased. We are all aware that the last election witnessed low turnout. Low turnout owing to the effect partly that women who largely control the votes might have been cut out owing to the fact that they are poor, there is poor inducement of their fellow women to vote. And even with the small numbers that came out, over 60% of the voters have been proved to be women. How best and how est can this Nigerian, teeming Nigerian female voters be rewarded if not by electing a woman on the presiding seat of the National Assembly and the House of Representatives in particular? Honorable Onoha went on to reel out a seven-point agenda for the 10th National Assembly under her watch which includes the digitization of activities of rules and business committee, improvement of the legislative policy action to promote the interests of women and vulnerable groups, among others. She assured that her emergence will create opportunities for National Assembly stakeholders' engagement to provide access for public participation in lawmaking. It is not possible for a man to speak for us on issues that bother women when we have credible and qualified women like myself. I am ranking. I am also of the All Progressives Congress. I qualify and I suitably am able to ask all the men on this contest. And like you are aware, in almost all, uh, about 90 positions of this country, the men have dominated it. Sitting this one position to me will be a way of proving that we are running an inclusive government. And I Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.